ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is DJ A9ZT and we're back with WWE Champions and another 5 star gold character gameplay preview video and today we got the Doctor of Thugonomics with the heaviest necklace ever that doesn't spin with you. We got Chain Gang John Cena from the Ruthless Aggression era. One of the coolest looking characters, but he's not it. Um... Anyways, he's got no fancy gear. Let's take a look inside the poster. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, the most valuable thing we're going to talk about is right here. His value lies at 9,000 talent. Because you're going to see before that, receive less damage from blue gems. Nobody uses a trainer for gem defense. Like, really rarely anybody, unless you're using Honky Tonk Man for all gems. These kind of got lost in the shuffle. But if you get him to 9k, he switches from receiving less damage from blue gems... And switches over to blue gems do 35% more damage. And yellow gems do 25% more damage. That's dual color. That's actually a huge buff. And anybody who uses a blue gem damage trainer could really benefit from using a 9k Cena to get that yellow gem damage as an added bonus there. So this is the reason you'd want to take him up. I would take him to 9k. And I will at this point because I want that. Not sure we're going to go much higher than that. Now, he does have a Nexus. How does Chain Gang have a Nexus link? That's weird. That's kind of weird. Uh, and he's got the RA link. If we look at his moves, the sit-out powerbomb is the four-star move, and the springboard stunner is the five-star move. So we're going to take a look at a five-star move set, and I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is painful. I've been taking a long time mulling over this. I had my good friend, Great J-Man, Take a look over it, too, and we both came to the conclusion that there's not really anything that's going to work. So, First thing I want to talk about is these yellow moves. Take them, throw them out the window right now. They're gone. Bye. Okay? Because we got the five-knuckle shuffle, six-charge yellow, deal 31k damage, and make eight random yellow gems into red gems. This is that old year one thing where we had moves of a color that would take gems of that color and move them to another color. I call that a counterproductive move. All right, we don't want to use a yellow move to change yellow gems into something else because how are we going to hit it again? How are we going to refill yellow again? I don't know. So we're going to throw that one away. Uh, the sit out power bomb, six charge yellow deal, 27k damage to choose nine gems to make into reinforced gems. Uh, don't really have much benefit to that either. The only thing you can do with that is use the leaping clothesline, seven charge blue deal, 57,000 damage to make 10 random reinforced gems into heal gems of strength 11,000. So we can lay down these reinforce and then instantly switch them to heal. But using two moves of different colors that aren't going to feed each other for one outcome, not it either. So we're going to take that blue move, we're going to throw it out the window as well. It's going to leave us with four moves. Now we got the throwback down here, six charge red, deal 31,000 damage and make eight random yellow gems into blue gems. We may use that. But we're going to start up here with a five star move set. Remember that springboard stunner was the five star move. That's 8 charge blue, deal 35k damage and make 5 heal gems into red gems. Then we got the sit out hip toss, red, 8 charge, deal 39,000 damage, choose 7 gems to make into heal gems of strength 11,041. Those heal gems are the same strength as these ones, so you could use 2 moves of different colors to set up those heal gems, or you could use 1 move of 1 color to set up the same. And then we got the FU finisher, 10 charge blue, deal 52,000 damage, destroy seven random heal gems, and pin the opponent. Okay, let's take a look at the trainers and coaches here. So I got Lawler on here for blue move points to hit those a little quicker. I got Sami Zayn for blue move damage. I've played around with Mankind uh, buffing that and making more heal gems, but we don't need to make more heal gems, and you'll see why in the flow of the match. And the extra strength of the heal gems wasn't going to be it. I need to pack more power in my moves, so we're going to hit the blue moves a little harder. I got Naomi to give me 10% extra health from them heal gems, and I got Hollywood Hogan to help me charge my MP back up here. So we're going to take a look inside the title. I'm running Double Fury. That's going to help me kick out if I get pinned, and it's going to help me do just a little bit more damage. I You could roll armor, but I'm not hitting hard enough on a finisher to even attempt to hold anybody down. I also have a skill plate, Honky Tonks Blues, so for if I break green gems, I can get blue MP. That's just an out. If I got nothing else on the board, maybe I can get some blue MP from breaking green. Uh, I am running a 99% blue move damage metal with my Double Fury there, so there's that. 
And we're going to go out here against Jeff Hardy, who's actually a five-star silver because there's no damage output from Cena. And we're going to see if uh, we can even handle this and how long that's actually going to take. So to go up against somebody with four or five million health when you're only doing a couple hundred K damage a turn, we're looking at a 30 turn match or so. And I can't, I can't in good faith do that in a video to you. So, uh, best case scenario, we got red and blue on turn one. That never happens. So his biggest problem is needing both colors right away. And we actually alleviated that now. So I can make five heal into red. So with this, if I only choose five heal, I can, I can get my health refilled from this, do some damage and refill the red move. So what I'm going to do is use this. I'm going to put five down and I'm going to match them off the other reds so that we can uh, refill some red off of this. Let's do that. That's actually going to be pretty good. I mean, it's going to cascade a pin. But we are going to get, uh, you know, nearly 100k damage out of this. So, And if we were down some health, we would just have got some back. And we cascaded the blue in, so that's good. So 242 there, not great. But you'll be able to see, like, like, the flow of the match here. Without me going through a whole match against... 5 million health, you'll be able to see the flow of the moves and how he's going to work out. And I promise you, I it's not like I'm trying to fluff it. All right, I'm not trying to sell you on he's a monster because I can beat up a 5-star silver. I just, uh, I'm looking out for you, the viewer. I'm looking out for you. So, we need the red refilled and I need two blue MP at least. And we can destroy seven with this. So we can pick all seven. There's like no blue on the board here though. So we're in actually in big trouble. Actually in big trouble here. This is where we're going to get stuck. Uh, oh, you know what I should have done? I should have broke green there. I should have picked three of them on green. Whoopsie do. Come on, give me a green. Oh, I was really hoping for a green cat. Oh, I got it. I did get three green. Okay. So we did get our blue refilled from the skill plate. So skill plate came in clutch. Honky Tonks Blues came in clutch. So you can see my health is still pretty full. So again, we could choose the heal gems. If I could somehow get this to cascade blue... It would help out tremendously. There's five. Now remember, we could turn five heels into red, so we could recycle the red with that. The problem with this set is just uh, you get stuck sometimes. Like here, okay, but I got green. Without Honky Tonks Blues there, I was in big, big trouble. And that's going to fill my moves back up. So now I can get through that cycle again. If you want to stick around to the end of the video, I will show you a match against a five-star gold. But uh, for now, this is what we're going to do. Yes, if the heal was Leech, this would work really well. That would be a quick fix for him. If these were Leech gems, uh, you'd be doing way more damage. And there should be three more from the skill plate. There we go. So it's not going so bad now. That skill plate's really helping out. I'm really getting a little lucky on that. But it's not going bad. I haven't really lost a lot of health. The heal gems are keeping my health pretty decent. It's very, very long and it's very slow. And I have him completely optimized right now. So I definitely understand that if you don't have everything perfect, skill plate, strap, metals, all of that, that this is not going to be as fun for you as it is for me right now. But at 9K, he might be able to do some stuff against similar opponents. 
I picked an opponent that had no sub and that wasn't destroying the board a lot. And uh, I picked a good opponent that I knew I could get through these moves a lot. But we're looking at we're going on six minutes in this match already. And he didn't even have two million health. So now imagine if I was trying to actually go up against somebody good. Wouldn't have been a good day. Uh, again, I fudge that up. I keep forgetting to put those on green gems. Oh, look at that cascade. That was our best shot of the night there. That was like 400k. That was like 400k. Okay. So, I mean, he did it. He did it. All right, let's check out one other move set. <laughs> okay, so second move set here. We are going to take out the move, the five star move, and we're going to throw in the throwback. So six charge red, deal thirty one thousand damage, and make eight random yellow into blue. So now we're going to run the double red here. We're going to choose. Uh, we're going to make yellow into blue. Hopefully, fill the fu, and then choose heal gems on red. Use the finisher to recharge the red moves or the blue, whatever I can and keep hitting from there so now we switch the entourage we got sting and batista so we're going to focus red damage instead of blue damage in starting and uh, we're going to leave the coaches the same and i did go to the title then and switch to uh 99 red move damage metal and we're going to go out here and try this one one more time All right, so we got throwback charge turn one. Now with Batista, we got our other red move charge turn one as well. So we might be able to do some more damage this time. Hey, we got a... Ugh, so now I got choices, and that stinks. I could take the five match here. I wanted to, like, fill my blue there. I guess it really don't matter. I'm going to hit red again, so maybe I can fill blue with it this time. Oh, my. And at all cost... Oh, you know what? I can fill my finisher while I'm pinned here. With the, with the skill plate there. Perfect. Honky Tonks Blues coming in clutch, and, uh... There's only one yellow on the board. I'm going to go ahead and use it just for the damage output, the 72k damage there. Now we have to get... I didn't even see the yellow down there. Now I feel dumb. Uh, now we need to try to cascade some stuff here. So we're going to have to be real smart. We can destroy all of our heal gems, so let's try to set up some cascades. So... If I want to take the reds here, then I need to take two here so that this one drops down an extra level. Hmm. So let's do that, and then I'm going to get green on this too. And so that's going to help fill the blue as well. Hopefully this goes good. There we go. That's going to recharge everything. And a 250k Cascader there. Not bad. Not bad. But this, these damn even on my best cascades there. Well, then the first match, my best shot was like 400k. So I guess I, what I'm looking at is what's going to be better here. All right. So what we can gauge is what's the better build, the five star build or this build. So for the people who are in my live chat right now while I'm recording this, let me know what you think is the better build, the way I'm running now or the way I ran before, and we'll get some feedback in for the video.
This way seems a little safer on the setup. I'm going to go ahead and hit this because it doesn't look like it can cascade anything. And now we try to set up cascades here. Which there's nothing fantastic here. Oh. Two hundred and four thousand, and I didn't even fill everything. Not great. I don't know. I kind of feel like the other move set maybe more consistent, uh, more consistent damage output. I feel I don't know. It was harder to set up, but once I got it rolling, I feel like it might have been better than this. But this one, uh, easier to set up, and if the board is friendly to you. So don't even want to use anything here. Let's hope that goes well. Okay, that, that worked out. I got real lucky there. That won't cascade. We can do 72k. I feel like our luck is, uh, is running out on the board here, though. All right, come on. Two sixty six, not good. Oh, we might get a pin here, though. Oh, my, he's out. He's out. All right, zero. You think this move sets better? I think they're not far off from each other. I think they're not far off from each other. This one, I like the fact that I can choose all of my heal gems and not have to hold back. And this will fill blue this time, but it's probably going to cascade a pin. Oh, is that going to be it? Oh, the big bop. All right, well, that one got it done as well. That one got it done as well. It's just long matches, y'all. Long, long, long. So, I know I said if you stuck around uh, in the video, I would go up against the gold, but I can't. I can't do it. This is painful. It's hurting my heart. Um, 9K talent. That's where you want to bring him. But if you do need to use him for tour requirements, I hope this video helped you out some. And maybe in the future, if we get a better skill plate, like a blue and red... Uh, MP1, we might be able to do more with him, but for now, I'm gonna leave you with that. You let me know what you think about Chain Gang in the comments below, and if you had a build that I didn't use, let me know that too. I'd love to see it. Until next time, y'all.